Hello everyone, it's Michelle the Stamp Booker, and I am here today to help my dear friend Joanne Bartow celebrate her 2000 subby uh, mark. Isn't that amazing? 2000. Um, so I am going to scrap lift a layout of hers and um, I will uh, show it at some point here in my video, but she uses this cut file. It's called the half and half and it is a Copa cut file. And um, I am going to be using the new Dream Maker from Close to My Heart that is available to customers May 1st. I had a little sneaky sneaky of it. Um, she had this cut file and then she had two three by fours right here of a couple of her best friends. So I have two photos of me and my best friend, Bethany. And I'm just trying to decide what, how I'm gonna back this cut file. Um, kind of procrastinated because I can't make a decision. And it's tough because I have not cut into these papers yet. This would be the perfect cut file to back with scraps. But I really wanted to use this Dream Maker. Um, let me show you. There's also um, all of these cardstocks that are got like this marbling effect. So um, I've got six different colors here. And then the back is a regular color. But why use that when you have this? And this apparently is going to be one of our new colors. It's called Rosy and hasn't even been released yet. Not until we have convention this summer. So there's that. And I still have um, the rest of the cut file here on my Cricut mat. I have thought about possibly doing some ink blending with um, half the heart. And then the other heart, other side, um, filling, backing, I mean, um, with some of these papers. Just haven't figured it out. So I'm going to turn the camera off and make some decisions and go for it. All right. Oh, and I'm going to use these uh, Bramble Fox. I'm all about scrapbooking Joanne today. She has a big Bramble Fox. Fan, and I have this really cute one that says memories and then it has this really cute heart which goes with these hearts right so I think I might just kind of do something like that and um, and then I'm going to fill in some of the gaps with some um, embellishments I do have this sticker sheet um, oh sorry for reaching across so, I have a bunch of embellishments that I've been looking through, kind of pulled a few, and then I also have this beautiful sticker sheet. And so it has gold accents. So I will um, probably add some gold. And um, I like these um, floral accent so I'll definitely be using this all right let's get to it okay don't laugh at my mess but I just want to come back on here and show you how I did get this backed um, it took me a while but I had a big block of time I just stayed up to like two um, the right hand sides are all sponged with the inks and I pulled all the inks um i don't think i used every one but i pulled them all that are listed that's a bunch well and i pulled tulip which is a very old color and i pulled it to match this rosy because tulip is considered a red but it was always a really pinky red and see i think this is the tulip i think it ended up matching really well so then i also did um 
like Joanne where I put a matching pattern paper on the left hand side so I don't know if you can tell or not I thought about this after I went to bed but the um, the right hand sides are the actual cut out of the heart and the left hand side is what I cut just a little bit bigger and use the cut out as a template or maybe I shouldn't say cut out maybe I should call it uh, the mm, what is the word I'm, I'm having problems with words but anyway the back is pretty funky looking I started with using a really narrow washi tape I think it's really I have these in a bunch of colors and they're actually for Bible highlighting and um, I have used, never had used this green one. I have used them in my Bible and I don't see them coming up, but they were coming up on this paper. So uh, when I went to glue the left hand side on, I would put a little bit of barely art glue underneath some of this green. And then I decided to put some double stick tape across them. And um, it looks like it's really secure. So now I'm thinking I will, um, put this up on foam tape like Joanne, I think Joanne did. And um, there's a little bit of tape showing right there. Okay, so then I was trying to, I wanna uh, cut this down and I want to frame it. I'm thinking in this, I will obviously be gutting it. Sorry, Kelly, I used that word, but um, I think I wanna focus on this new color. And I'll just use the tulip. Um, I'll probably map this photo in this color, maybe something else. And then I was thinking that um, I wanted to do some splatters. So um, I was trying to make it hard on myself, right? So I pulled like some of my shimmer brushes. I have them in several different colors. And, um, but I didn't have all of the colors that I needed to really like I don't have tulip or or rosy. Um, I had mint. Mint's not even in there, but I think it'd work. I have glacier. I have lagoon. I feel like lagoon was too dark. Um, where did I put it? So I did a lot of experimenting on here. I feel like the lagoon was too dark, too green. Um, gold sugar plum, which isn't in there, but I thought it might match. Okay, and then I was like, well, I don't have all the colors. So what if I do watercolor? So then I was like mixing up different watercolors to, and that would have worked. But then I had my aha moment and, um, and I realized I don't have to do any real splatters. I will just use my stamp sets and do some splatters in the matching inks with, with these stamps. And while I was looking for these two stamps, um, I found this stamp set that I've never used, but I think it's perfect. BFF. Awesome, inspiring BFF. So I'll be able to use BFF on this layout about me and my BFF. So that was a happy, happy accident. I'm going to put the watercolors away. Um, that's for another day, right? I got to get this layout finished. I'm already late. I'm so sorry, Joanne. I'm just, I'm, I'm pokey. I am a pokey scrapbooker. Um, I do want to scrap, do some gold, though. And so I sprayed a little bit of Hottie Swap and a little bit of this Diane Wakely. And let's see if I can remember which one is which. Um, and then also there was the gold shimmer brush. Well, I don't, I can't really tell. Probably either one would work. I just think. They are different colors of gold. So I'll probably spray them again, or I just kind of splatted them and see which one matches the gold in the sticker sheet better. So I will work on my layout. And oh, I just do have to say, so I videoed the very first part of this video. I was up late last night. Nobody else was up. I was having fun. And then I couldn't find my phone. I could not find my phone. I went to bed without my phone. I looked all over the house for it. My husband was asleep, so he couldn't call it like he usually does when I have lost my phone in the past. So this morning I get up, obviously later than him, and I said, hey, I um, I don't, I lost my phone last night. I don't know where it is. He's like, well, it's, 
It's in your scrapbook room. It's on the phone stand. It's been going off because the alarm was going off. I'm like, that's where I left it. I left it up here. I know. Just thought I'd tell you, give you a little laugh. All right, I will come back. All right, I am back. I don't think it looks much like how I imagined it. I ended up using a different paper for the, um, to frame it. And um, I really like it. Um, let's see if I can find the full sheet of it. <laughs> of course I can't. It is gorgeous. Here it is. Isn't that gorgeous? This is what I was considering. But then when I turned it over, I was like, yes, this is it. So then I gutted it and I put some of it over here. And um, just made clusters. And like I said, I used the stamp set. Not this one. That one would have worked. I used this stamp and this stamp to just kind of go around in Glacier. And then I did some Hottie Swap Gold Color Shine. And I added in some Puffy Hearts and uh, the hearts off of here, the florals off of here. And then the Bramble Fox from the Fox Box. And I used actually some Bow Bunny Beautiful Things and Jen Hatfield Peaceful Heart. Um, I got both of these at Tuesday morning this year, I believe. So I was able to use some of the florals like here, here, here. Um, and then from the Bow Bunny, Bow Bunny, um, this right here. I stamped the BFF from the stamp set. This one. And the uh, tulip. I think tulip matches really well. And um, anyway, just kind of skirted it around. And I have to say that I have an even deeper appreciation of Joanne Bartell and all of her very detailed layouts I this one's not even as detailed as she goes she usually sprinkles a lot of the pink fresh gems around and I don't actually I do have some gold ones so maybe I need to add them but I had to find them but anyway um she just adds so much to her layouts and they're just all works of art and um I just have figured out I cannot do that it is just too much um she does beautiful work, so I'm so proud of her for reaching 2,000 subbies, and I hope that you go and check out her channel, and also um, our friends playing along, celebrating with her. All right, have a great day. Bye.